Hello and welcome to our lesson on inequalities. In this lesson we're going to write an algebraic inequality from a diagram. The key to today's lesson is understanding the notation on the diagram to which of these four symbols we're going to use in our inequality. But you can see in the diagram we have circles. If it is a full circle it means any number x can be equal to the number the circle is hovering above. If it is a hollow circle, the number x cannot be equal to the number it is hovering above. So we start with question a. You can see it is hovering above negative 1 and the numbers in the direction of the arrow are getting bigger. So x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Equal to because it is a full circle and greater than because of the direction of the arrow. For question B, you can see the circle is hovering above negative 2. The direction of the arrow tells you it is less than, and because it is a hollow circle, you see it cannot be equal, so it is this symbol. x is less than negative 2. For question C, we look at the 10 first. Now x is going to be less than 10. We know less than because the line is going in this direction from a circle and it's not equal because it's a hollow circle. And if we look at the other circle above negative 7, you can see that x is traveling in this direction. So x is greater than negative 7. This is tricky because it is the same symbol but meaning different things. It is how you read it. In this direction, x is less than 10. And in the other direction, x is greater than negative 7. OK, do you want to try question D? And you can resume it when you're ready. OK, for question D. You can see the full circle is hovering above 6. So x is less than or equal to 6. And it is getting greater from negative 9, and it can be equal to negative 9. So x is greater than or equal to negative 9. And do you want to try question E? By pausing the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question E, we have two inequalities. The first one here is when x is greater than, which you can tell from the direction of the arrow. It's not equal to that because it's a hollow circle and it is greater than 8. The other inequality is that x is less than because of a direction of the arrow and equal to, because it is a full circle, negative 3. OK, let's move on. So now we're going to go from the inequality to the number line. And we have x is greater than 4. Remember, if, if it is a full circle, x can be equal. If it is a hollow circle, x cannot be equal. And in question 1, it is not equal, so it is a hollow circle above 4. And the numbers are getting greater, so we add well points to the right. For question 2, it can be equal to, and it is less than, negative 3. So it is an arrow going to the left. For question 3, it is x is less than or equal to 5. So it is a full circle, because it can be equal to that, going to be left. And x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So again, a full circle with the numbers going to the right. Do you want to try and draw the inequality for question 4 by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. OK, for question 4, we have x is less than or equal to negative 1, so a full circle above negative 1. And x is greater than negative 4, so a hollow circle above negative 4. And the line between the two. And finally, for question 5, we have x is less than or equal to negative 3. So a full circle above negative 3. 
but x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So another full circle above negative 5 and a line between the two. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.